in Houston like, what's up, boogie? Yeah, what's up, nigga? Yeah, 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 what's up, nigga? Fuck on, bitch. Hey, yo, boogie. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my personal channel, you guys. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notification bells and be alert every single time that I upload a new video. Y'all see that title? Today is the asking Dami uncomfortable, the most uncomfortable questions that I gotta answer. It's a whole bunch of them, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all these questions, you know what I'm saying? So if you want a part two to this video, just comment down below and y'all let me know. We better go ahead and get into it, man. So make sure y'all smash that like button for this video. If First question. Why are you so emotional? Don't be don't be trying to come at me like that. It happened ever since my first bo my first born child. That's how I feel. Wife was pregnant. She was carrying my seed. I feel like I took on all of those emotions that she was going through during her pregnancy. Like I became more emotional when I had my daughter, my my other son, Royal. He, he the chill baby, so now I'm starting to get back. I'm starting to get to his vibes now. So I'm starting to become that chill type person. The next question, have you ever smelled raw panties? Yeah, I've smelled her panties before, bruh. That's all y'all need to know. How are you doing mentally? Mentally, I'm cool, I'm cool for right now. So I can say I'm pretty stable, yeah. Mentally, I can say I'm pretty stable. Thank you, though, for asking. Appreciate it. How do you feel about co-parenting with the other kid's father? The the co-parenting, I, I ain't got no issue with it. It ain't no problem with me at all. So as far as on our end, we good. Like, the co-parenting stuff, I like it, you know? The kids, they still able to talk to their father. It's, it's just all love uh, at the end of the day. Has your relationship with your mom gotten uh, better as of yet? No, I don't think it got any better. I just feel like it's it's just the same as it as it being before, and that's just what it is. What's your body count? My body count ain't really think off the off the dome. I'll probably say at least the minimum is below ten. That's probably my body count. Who's your celebrity hall pass? Megan Good. Megan Good is my celebrity hall pass. I love you, wife, but Megan come through. I don't know you. Don't be mad at me. You'll be all right. What are your thoughts on sex toys? Y'all really interested like in my sex life, bro. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> they cool, you know, they could, they could help. They could give you a little boost of adrenaline, you know what I'm saying, in the, in the bed. It could help you with a lot of things that's all i'm gonna say they i, I like them the sex toys they cool i i i don't have none i mean they cool to me i ain't got a problem with it oh boy do you fantasize about other women i used to like like crazy 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 i ain't even gonna cap i i used to fantasize about women all the time so but now now i don't do all that fantasizing no more the only person i fantasize really is my wife all that other stuff, it really don't matter to me at all. Do your siblings visit you in Houston? Nah, they don't really visit me. No, they don't visit me in Houston. They just doing their thing, you know, minding their own business. Next question, Dami, how do you feel when Rod gets all the attention on social media? Honestly, I don't really be tripping about the fact that she get a lot of attention on social media. I feel like that's that's what she's supposed to do, you know? Women, women gets a lot of attention. That's one thing that I've learned being on social media and being a content creator, an entertainer, like whatever you wanna call it. That's one thing that I learned that women, I feel like women gain a lot of attention because women really rocks with women. And fellas, they just, they either follow the trend or they idolize somebody that's already successful. That's what she's supposed to do. She's beautiful, she's young, you know what I'm saying? She She's not aging at all. 
and everybody love her. They love her personality. They love what she do as a makeup artist. Uh, not a makeup artist, but they love the, they love how she do her makeup. They love that how she do her hair, how she do her uh, what is it skin routine. They they just love how she keep herself together. You know what I'm saying? So really, it, it's it's not a big deal to me. Uh, actually, kudos. You know what I'm saying? The fact that she get attention and shit. I ain't got a problem with that at all. I love it. Keep doing your thing, baby. Keep shining. Next question. How was the relationship with Ra's mom and your mom? And do Dami have siblings? Uh, are your grandparents in the picture? First off, the relationship with Ra's mom, my mom-in-law, and my mom, they never met before. Never. They never spoke to each other. None of that. Like... They never uh, got introduced to each other. Never had that chance, never had that opportunity. So I'ma just leave that right there as it is what it is. Do I have siblings? Yes, I got a lot of siblings. Daddy. What's wrong, baby? Let's go. Where you wanna go? What's wrong? Where you wanna go? Pick up Mike and Sonny. You wanna go pick up Mike and Sonny? Uh -huh. We can't, baby. They they in Kansas City, baby. I know. I know. You miss your your siblings. You miss Mike and Sonny. You miss Mike and Sonny, baby. It's okay. They gonna be back before you know it. All right. It's gonna be okay. Mwah. Hey, where was I? Oh, about the uh, my siblings. Yeah, I got siblings, two sisters, and I have three brothers. And the last part in the uh, question are my grandparents in the picture. Only grandparents I have uh, now is my grandpa on my mom's side and his wife, my grandma. I lost my grandma on my mom's side. I lost my grandpa on my mom's side. My grandpa on my mom's side. He's married to uh, someone else, and my grandma was married to someone else. So I had two sets of grandparents on my mom's side. My grandma and my grandpa passed away. My grandma, my mother's mom, <laughs> my mother's mom passed away, and her husband passed away as well. So all she had is her grandpa and my grandpa's wife. So. That's my only grandparents I have on my dad's side. My grandma, she passed away, and my grandpa passed away as well. So I just have my grandpa Trent and my grandma Cookie, but I just have my grandparents on my mom's side. My, mom, my mom's dad and my mom's dad wife. I be in communication with them. I haven't talked to him lately. I need to give him a phone call because he got me messed up. I ain't talked to him in a minute. So, yeah, that's... Hopefully I didn't get y'all confused at that at that moment. My bad, y'all. Have you ever had a threesome? What's up with y'all want to know about my sex life, bro? Ah, oh, TMI, TMI. Yes, I have. How long can you hold your breath while pleasing your wife? What? I ain't never heard nothing like that before. I'm not holding my breath if that answers your question. Next question, has there been any infidelity in your relationship? If so, how did y'all deal with it? Before we even started YouTube, we, we, we did go through some stuff, you know what I'm saying? Before we, this was way before we got married. We did, we started YouTube before we even went viral all that stuff this was like in the very very beginning stage of our relationship there was some infidelity going on and there was some uh, emotions we really didn't know where we was gonna go at what we was gonna do with in the relationship she wasn't feeling me it was a time where i wasn't feeling her but it was a toxic situation to where we just didn't care you know what I'm saying she did her thing i did my thing and we Kept it a buck with each other. And how did we fix the situation? We just apologized to each other. That's what we did. It was like after we done did all of the stuff, got into the arguments, 
and it was a point of time where we was really about to be just cut off like we was about to go our separate ways from each other like you do you i do me it was worth it the apology it was worth it we talked it out and we was like all right we're gonna try and do better from here on out and ever since then like it's, it's just been solid you know? not like everything been perfect you know what I'm saying of course every relationship still has their ups and downs you know what I'm saying we talk it out we communicate and we hug and show love to each other next question what's worse leaving Ra or her leaving you both situations will be worse sometimes like I really do be feeling like I can't do a lot of stuff without her Sometimes there's some stuff that she can't do without me. The way that we've been together for so long, I feel like it'll be worse on both on both sides of the party. Next question, Dami, do you do Dami eat Do Dami eat booty? I tried it out a couple of times. Alright, I admit it, man. Listen, uh forget y'all. I don't like you either. You know what I'm saying? You disgusted it as well. I, I tried it before. That's all you need to know. Has anyone disrespectfully shot their shot at your spouse in front of your face and or behind your back? If so, how did you handle it? Now, no. Nobody, now nobody never shot their shot at my wife. As far as I know, I don't be in her messages, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, she's a influencer. She's a social media influencer. So, of course, she's going to get that attention from women and, and men. So, I don't be in her DMs, I don't do all that, but as far as I know, no, nobody ain't shot their shot. I'm not aware if anybody shot their shot at her, and I didn't know about it, you know what I'm saying, behind my back, but nobody ever tried to shoot, shoot their shot in front of me. I don't play that, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's straight up. Like, if you, if, I feel like if you shoot your shot, if a, if a mother, if somebody shoot they shot in front of they woman or they man, that just lets that lets you know like you ain't got no stripes. You need to get some stripes. But I don't play them games, bro. Somebody shoot they shot in front of me, they getting handled right then and there. I don't care who you is. But no, nah, nobody has never shot they shot not in front of me. I can't speak if I can't give you a straight answer if anybody shot they shot behind my back because I, I don't know that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know it. I ain't got that answer. Next question, what would you do if Ra cheated? Ra asked me this before. Oof. If Ra cheat if Ra cheated on me, what would I do? I don't know what I would do. That's I don't know what I would do though, you know what I'm saying? Cause it feel like that situation like anything could go down anything could go wrong you know what i'm saying like somebody could just spaz out you know what i'm saying it just hurt somebody or somebody could just be shocked you know what i'm saying like so shocked that they had just tell them like enjoy the rest of your life and just walk away from the situation i really don't know what i'll do sometimes i feel like i'll punch her in the throat you know what i'm saying sometimes i feel like I would be emotional and ask her, like, really? Like, you gonna do that to me? Like, yo, husband, you really gonna cheat on me? Like, like what is going on? Like, sometimes I'll be like, you know what? Go, that's what you wanna do? That's cool. You do your thing, I'm gonna do my thing. I'm dipping on them. <laughs> Something. I don't know, gang. I really don't know, Boogie. I, 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 can't, I can't give you a straight answer with that. But no, I wouldn't put my hands on her. I was just playing them games, bro. Don't, don't, don't. Don't listen to everything I'll be saying. <laughs> Since you have five kids, how do you manage to do the deed and keep the fire burning in your relationship? Simple. You kick them kids to their room, lock the doors, put something in front of the door, turn the music up, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You gotta, gotta think smart. You tell them to go outside or something, you know what I'm saying? Go play, go play soccer or something. If we're not able to do it in the daytime, just wait till nighttime when they all sleep. So that way we can get it in in the middle of the night. Wake up, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, last night was amazing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Just find, just find the time to make time. It's possible. All right, next question. If you happen to be on the toilet 
and you discover in the middle of a doodle session there is no toilet paper and you left your phone on the bed what would you do <laughs> man what bro <laughs> what if i'm in the middle of a session bro i left my phone on the bed and i ain't got no toilet paper i'm hollering out rob wife straight up like that i'm like wife hey she gonna have to bust open i'm unlocking the door she gonna smell what i'm going through in that bathroom but listen that's that's all you need to know i'm just gonna tell her straight up like listen i ain't got no toilet paper bring it in you ain't gotta do all that none of that just hold your breath give me the toilet paper and get up out of there dami what is your favorite memory of your dad oh man my favorite memory of my dad i got so many memories bro the one that stand out the most is when 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 my dad first met nico you know what i'm saying when nico was born it was cold it was it was it was winter at that time uh I told my dad i'm like hey you want to see your your grandson he was able to see his grandson and the way that he walked in the barbershop and was like, yo, this is my, this is my grandson and all that. Like, that was fire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, another one, it's so many. When he met Rahana, I just felt like all the memories that I can think of, they, those, it's, it's so many. It's so many, you guys. I, I, I can't really explain it, but that's, that's just what it is, man. Like, that's, that's my pops, yo. Love him, and I miss him so much to this day. Miss that, miss that man so much. What is your opinion on transparency in a relationship? Honestly, transparency is a big deal. Ain't nothing wrong with growth. Ain't nothing wrong with growth at all. Do not, do not settle. My wife tell me that all the time. Do not settle. Don't just be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Just keep on growing. Learn something new every single day, no matter what it is. Just always learn something. How's your relationship with your mom now? Does she have a relationship with your kids? First question, the how is it with my mom now? It's, it's still the same, you know? I haven't talked to her since my dad's funeral. That was the last time I, I talked to her. Second question, she got, does she have a relationship with the kids? It was once upon a time that she did have a little bit of a relationship with Mike and Sonny, but Nico, Rahana, and Royal. No, she don't really, no, she don't have a relationship with, with them. The next question, are you serious about getting fit and being healthy? Yes, man, I am serious about getting fit and being healthy. When you have kids, bruh, that's always up under you, 24 seven game, it's hard to try and fit workout you know what I'm saying into the schedule of your life you know what I'm saying I'm I'm still trying like I look at my dumbbells I look at my I look at all this stuff I look at the treadmill I look at the bike I, I look at all that and I'll be like yo I really need to be working out why am I not doing this I try and find time you know I'm still working on I'm still working on trying to work on with the little ones to be able to let them be in their own little space and not have to be in my space all the time be in their mom's space all the time but it's hard to do that because it's like we still have baby royal and he needs attention you know what i'm saying so it's like we have to be there for him all the time and of course if we got to be in royal space and have to tend to him nico and hannah is going to be right there too and they're going to want to be in their our face as well but and now that mike and sonny is out of out of town they in kansas city for the summer it's really harder for us now because every day they saying they miss their siblings they want to hang out with them but they we have to deal with them now so it's i, I do want to work out though man i promise like no cap i really do that's why i'm still buying all this equipment stuff to be able to work out in the house now the next question how often do you talk to your siblings uh i'll be t i'll be writing my sister i talk to my little brother my older brothers though, I, I don't really, I don't talk to them. I don't talk to them at all. It's just no bad blood or anything. It's just, it is what it is. 
All right, this is gonna be the last question of the video. Last but not least, did you always want a big family? Yeah, I always wanted a big family. I always, before Hana, I used to tell wife all the time, like, listen, before Nico, to keep it gangsta, which, uh, I used to tell wife all the time, listen, I want a football team out of you. I want to keep on getting all of them up out of you. You know what I'm saying? So let me get my football team my offensive line, my uh, my wide receivers, quarterback, running back, line back, all that stuff. I need I need a football team out of you. But now that I'm actually dealing with three different little human beings, I promise you, I'm I'm grateful with with that right there, but by itself. This right here is the big family right here itself. We straight, we straight, man. But uh, yeah, man, it looked like. I answered majority of questions. Um, the other ones wasn't really uncomfortable questions. That's gonna be the end of this video, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button for this video, you guys. And if you guys got some more questions you guys wanna ask me, just comment down below and tell me, hey, yo, Boogie, drop that part two. And y'all drop a question, an uncomfortable question that y'all wanna ask me. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, man. Stay tuned. I'm dropping some more bangers, you guys, coming soon. Thank y'all again so much for tapping in with me. It mean a lot, but these kids keep on messing with me during my video, so I gotta tend to them. I gotta get up out of here. Peace. Yeah.